Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate Siege of Dragonspear with me, Frank Adon. You need me? So we're gonna go to Sorcerer's Sundries. And the Elfsong Tavern. Uh, pardon me, I'm new in town. Can you tell me where to find Sorcerer's Sundries? Um, hey, get your hand out of my pocket. You're pretty sharp. So is my blade. <laughs> what chance do you have? Yes. What an idiot. We aren't far from the Elfsong Tavern. A few people you might want to speak with, Safana, Koran, and the Bard Garrick, have been seen there recently. Or if you'd like to get some supplies for the journey to Dragonspear, we can go to Sorcerer's Sundries. What could I do to- I actually have some money I need to deliver to someone around here. I'm not sure where they're at. Is it Tenor? I'm so tired. Uh, this is outrageous. We haven't done anything wrong. You lot just sit tight until backup arrives. Uh, you require assistance? What's going on here, officer? These refugees came to our city for aid. They repaid our generosity by causing a commotion in the street. Maybe. Maybe we got a little rough with each other. What of it? Our tempers are short, and the hours pass slowly. If you created a disturbance, the Flaming Fist is obligated to detain you. Thank you, hero. Yes, I recognize you. Would you be willing to do us a favor? I haven't enough people to escort all these rowdies to headquarters. Could you go to the Flaming Fist Command Center and tell Jenks that Officer Vita needs reinforcements? I could, but won't. <laughs> of course. I am always happy to assist the city's defenders. Please, ask the Fist to show us mercy. We've lost our homes, our possessions, some of us our families to the crusade. Must we lose our freedom too? Perhaps you'll appreciate freedom a little more after you spend a few days behind bars. Now steal your red blooding tongues before I steal them for you. It is I at once. Hello, Senna. Simply no standards these days. Uh greeting, sir. Senna the moneylender at your service. What can I help you with this night? I have a deposit for, for you from a merchant named Tira. Oh yes, I know Tira. If you'll just give me the deposit, I'll mark it onto her account. Uh, here you are. Thank you. I may tell her that I received the deposit and her account has been updated accordingly. Good day to you. What good sir? I'm here to help. So that's the 50 gold that would have been stolen by uh, Zelma. Alright, let's go to Sorcerer Sundries. Let me see what treats await. Alright, get what you need. I'll cover the door. Good, I don't trust that door. It's shifty. Don't let it out of your sight. Not for a second. Yes, you're very funny. Happy now? Then go. Get what you need. <laughs> Hal Bazardrin. Don't crowd the counter. Huh, I'm sorry. You have to wait a moment. I'm terribly busy. So I see. Why are all these people here? Refugees from this so-called crusade and the Troll Hills have filled this city almost to bursting. Everyone is hoarding supplies before demand drives prices beyond reason. Those who flee the Shining Lady have gold enough to shop here? Some escaped with money or possessions as well as their lives. Others have relatives in town helping them. Suffice it to say, there is no dearth of customers willing to pay for my attention. So oh, if you will excuse me. Uh, the Council of Four has engaged me to help end Kalar's Crusade. May I see what you have to sell? Ah, that being the case, I'll let you skip to the head of the line. Fantastic. What do we got? I mean, I don't have any money. I have a little bit of money. Not a lot. Um, Monster Summoning 3 might be worth memorizing. Animate dead would be good. Actually, I have no idea. I don't know what I need for this uh, for this campaign. I can sell some of this stuff. I'll hold on to the shadow armor for now. I 
can sell all these gems finally. Actually, I might hold on to those for new party members that we find. So I don't know what all they'll be equipped with. So far, they've been equipped with like uh, close protection, so I might not end up needing that. I don't suppose he didn't have a potion container, did he? Probably not, but it would be nice if I had one. All right, nope. I guess that's it. Uh, greetings and welcome. I'm Hal Bowser's cousin, Kazrim. Just arrived from Kalashan. Kalamshan. Uh, can I interest you in some of my wares? Uh, what sort of items do you specialize in? My cousin Hal Bowser has an excellent selection of potions and utility items. But you'll find my goods more unique. Can I show you what I have to offer? Yeah, let's see what you have to sell. Every item comes with a money back guarantee, discounted for wear and tear. Oh, sweet! Potion case! And a scroll case! Fantastic. Braces of Perseverance. Hit points plus 10. What? Each of these soft leather bracers, dyed gray, displays the embroidered figure of a boar in shimmering red thread. The bracers were crafted by a monk of the Black Raven Monastery, who took longer to achieve mastery of her art than her peers, who reached her goals eventually. Oh wow. Well. And the wearer suffers a critical miss. He is affected by the aid spell. That sounds really good. They go plus one. I have to see what everybody has equipped. Hmm. Okay. Sidestep slippers. These soft leather slippers are favored by monks who benefit from their enchanted traction when executing their specialized fighting style. The grip and control provided by the slippers allows the monk to dodge all but the most deadly attacks. Plus one dexterity, plus one armor class, and save versus invocation, plus two. Okay. Uh, decades ago, Yaren the Bard traveled the jungles of Cth so Cholt, there we go. I thought I said Catholt. No, Cholt. To learn the stories and songs of those who lived within them. Though the trip was fraught with danger, Yaren's bravery was rewarded when he discovered a Cholton village. The villagers welcomed him. Over the next month, he learned of their history and art while telling them stories of life in Waterdeep. Uh, when Yaren departed, the villagers gifted him a headdress trimmed with peacock feathers. Too distinctive to wear on the streets of Waterdeep, Yaren selected one feather to sew into his cap, which he later enchanted. Well, he does have some nice stuff for monks. I don't know if I'll be bringing Rasad with me or not, because I didn't use him in the uh, base campaign. And I like consistency. I wanted to use some of the new companions in this uh, expansion specifically. You need me? I'm here to help. Oh yeah, let me take care of these. Oh, yeah, I didn't sell the quarter staff to that guy. Actually, I don't know if he was willing to buy it or not. All right, well, good. We got potions and gems. Oh, this is nice. Let us tidy up. Come back here with a uh, a roguish character. I'm here to help. All right, to the Elfsong Tavern. I think we have to talk to Aleph for that one at once. Airbnb guy.
Elf Song Tavern. A little pretentious for my taste. I'll wait for you here. Um, yeah. Who am I here to find again? A bard named Garrick. The why a bard would spend time here is beyond me. House rules discourage singing, at least by those of Garrick's ilk. There's also Safana and Corin, a pair of unsavory characters staying upstairs. Uh, Belt thinks might be of use. Why he think that? I don't know. But it's not my place to argue with the Grand Duke. Call if you need me. <laughs> Household guard. Declare yourself. No singing. House rule. All right, well, that's pretty straightforward. All right, bartender. What do you have to say? You want some whiskey? Uh, welcome, travelers. I trust you'll keep your weapons with, with your wits and not provoke trouble while here. It's the best thing for everyone. You'll find that the majority of our customers are well equipped to defend themselves, and if need be, the bar as well. Is there anything I can do for you? Nope. Nothing that I want. Alright, Garrick, let us talk. Hello there. Wait. I have a pretty proposal for you. Now wait, I recognize you, don't I? Well, I mean, I did briefly journey with him. Yeah, it's not been so long since we ventured together, has it, Garrick? Donald, it's you. Please join me. Sorry, you're trapped back here. Where are we going? Yes, sir. Uh, tell me your tale. What brings you here? Ah, uh, see, I come seeking your help, Garrick. I embark on a journey north soon. I want you to join me. Oh, you couldn't choose a worse time to make such a journey, my friend. You must know of Kalar Argent's so-called crusade. Yeah, uh, we've yet to meet, but I know Kalar uh, all too well. Agents in her service tried to kill me. She tried to slay the hero, of Z the hero of Baldur's Gate? A bold move, but a risky one. Failure would surely draw you into the conflict. It seems she judged the risk worth the reward. Perhaps you'll get to ask her. I'm afraid you'll have to do so without me. I'm right on the verge of breaking through Aelith's facade of indifference. I cannot leave now, but I wish you well, Donal. May you find good fortune in the north. Oh cool, so you can be rejected. Well neat. Yes. <laughs> you are welcome in my sight. A whole friend. I'd have words with you. I heard you talking to that pitiful warbler Gor Garrick. Gorick. <laughs> um, yeah, Garrick's not so bad. You're too kind. Far too kind. But I'll not argue with the hero of Baldur's Gate. You saved the city once, and I gather you intend to do so again. Baldur's Gate. The entire Sword Coast is in your debt. I am in your debt. Please, take this potion. It is a sorry reward for all you've done, I know. I'd offer more were I, were I able. Perhaps it will help help you in some way. I hope it will. Fare thee well on your travels, Donald, and thanks again. You are welcome. Uh, hello again, Donald. What can I do for you? Uh, you've already done more than enough, more, more for me than I deserve, my lady. Tell me, how are you dealing with all the newcomers flooding into the city? I could use about a dozen more waiting staff and some more people for the kitchen, but overall I can't complain. There are troublemakers among the newcomers to be sure, but they don't make much trouble here. Uh, they're afraid of the ghost? They're afraid of the clientele. Not an unreasonable concern. Some of my patrons have a well-earned reputation for, let's call it impatience. They like it here and don't respond well to disruptive elements. Have your patrons told you anything of Kalar Argent? The Shining Lady? Those that like her love her, and those that don't loathe her. She's driven the gods... She's driven the gods know how many from their homes these past months. But of those, many tell of a friend or loved one who fell in, under her sway, willingly joining her cause, even after horrific indignity, indignities suffered at her followers' hands. Who boy. Uh, uh, she has a charismatic leader, then. That could cause problems. We didn't- we needn't worry about Kalar. A pact has been made between the Grand Dukes and the Lords of Waterdeep. And Daggerford's mayor, though I can't imagine that being much help. In any case, Kalar's sword- Kalar's sword coast adventures will soon be at an end. Now if you'll excuse me, 
I need to fill a few mugs before my customers start complaining. You are welcome in my sight. Alright, yeah, I was hoping you could help me. Garrison, a local homeowner, has opened his house to refugees, but he's in need of provisions to feed those staying under his roof. Hmm. We just get a new shipment of supplies in. They're in storage upstairs. I could let them have I could let you have them for one thousand gold. I hate to ask it, my lady, but is there no way you, you can see to donate the supplies? These people are in grave need. Well, I suppose I could donate the supplies just this once. Don't let it get around. I have enough people coming to me to look for a handout as it is. The food's in the chest upstairs. Here's the key. What could I do? It is I. Three visions? Like, totally guide me. At once. I am at your service. She still resists my charm, Donald. But I'll wear her down eventually. Tell me a tale, Garrick. A tale of the Shining Lady, Kalar Argent. She's a talk of the town, quite literally. Thousands of those now re Yeah, thousands of those now inside the gate were driven here by Kalar's crusade in the north. As I hear it, Kalar is the stuff of legends, the heroine of a thousand stories yet to be told. Stories are your business, Garrick. Surely you know more than this. Rumors, whispers of echoes, nothing more. Some say she's an Asimar, others the child of a god. Some believe she is Seravok's own sister. Dost thou believe her a god spawn? Could she be a child of Baal? Uh, whatever the case, it is indisputably true that she inspires great loyalty in her followers. Many of those seeking refuge were driven from their homes by their own families. She seeks to gather a great army to her side, to what end I can only guess. Considering the progress her forces have made these past weeks, I not bet against her achieving her goal, whatever it may be. And that is what I know of Kalar Argent. If you intend to challenge her, while well, you did defeat Seravok Anchev, I suppose you know what you're doing. I not want to face her myself, if I could possibly avoid it. Luck to you. What at once? You need me? Irina? Or Irina? Oh, it's a fine day for meeting new friends. We'll be ruined. Ruined. This is the worst red blooding day of my life. Are oh, you pardon, my lady? Is there some way I can be of assistance? I almost can't bear to say it out loud, but our barrels are empty. We're completely sold out of ruby wine. A tragedy indeed. How will you go on? You don't understand. That wine is our most popular item. You've no idea how many ships we're going to see in the harbor in the next 10 day. Thirsty sailors will be here demanding ruby wine, and we'll have none to give them. Hey, you're that hero of Baldur's Gate, aren't you? Donald, I recognize you now. You're friendly with the council. Uh, I have that honor, yes. I happen to know Duke Belt has a personal stash of ruby wine in the Ducal Palace cellar. Do you think you could get me a barrel? You'd have me steal from the Ducal Palace. Borrow, steal, hells. Leave some gold in its place for all I care. I just need that wine. How do I recognize ruby wine? It has a really sharp, spicy smell. Ordinary wine just smells... whiny. And what will you give me if I do this? Oh, I have a great reward in mind. Yep, it's really something. But first, bring me the wine. Uh, give me enough gold to buy a barrel of wine. I'll leave that in place of what I take. Fine. Here's a purse with 50 gold pieces in it. Leave it in place of the barrel. Alright, I'll bring you some as soon as I can sneak into the palace cellar. Hurry back as soon as you have the wine. Okay. I'm here to help. Get out, you vile poxy snake. I rue the day I heard your wretched name, you weasel. I'm a weasel and a snake? That doesn't make sense. I've got a dagger, you know. Do you think I won't use it? Go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Do I know you? 
Uh, you don't recognize me, Corrin? What is this now? Do my eyes deceive me? Could this truly be Donald standing before me? Uh, it is. I'm glad I ran into you. I need your help. Now that I am looking at him, I am not so sure that's true. This elf has the air of a scoundrel about him. Boo does not like scoundrels. I do not like scoundrels either. I have nothing better than help you, Donald. Well, actually, that's a lie. There are many things I'd rather do. I believe I'll go do some of them right now. No, no, don't start. My mind is made up. I'll not be swayed by tears. Hey, it's all right. I'm sure you'll do fine without me. Here, have this gem. I, uh huh, I acquired it from a lovely elven girl. Lovely, and so, so quiet. Safana was furious, of course. I should never have taken the darnable thing, but it would have been impolite to refuse, wouldn't it? All right, take care. Hopefully we'll meet again soon under brighter circumstances. Safana? Damn you to all nine hells, Koran. I swear I'm going to... Oh. Hello. Hey, Safana. Been a while. You're looking good. Uh, no, greetings. How does this night find you, Safana? It is rare for this one to have a bad day, I think. It's been less than pleasant thus far, but it's improving by the second. Come in. Come in. Make yourself comfortable. So I think it's blatantly obvious which, uh, who we can recruit based on voice acting. What brings you to my door? A desire to see you isn't sufficient? Nice try. I've spent the last month with that two-faced elf Koran. A flattering tongue will get you nowhere. What do you want, really? Uh, I need your help, Safana. A Flaming Fist expedition heads north to face Kalar's crusade on the morrow. I'll be with them. I'd like you to join me. We could use a woman of your talents. I could never say no to you. Then again, I can't think of a single thing you could ask that would make me want to. All right. You want me? So we now have a thief in our party. Open locks, find traps. No, oh, get some detect illusions. That's usually not as important. I even grab some pickpockets. Why not? So I can get both of these to one hundred. Sixty and. No, we'll put the rest of these into uh, pickpockets. There we go. Short bow. Um, sure. You can have a dagger. Why not? I think I actually have a dagger on my person. You can wear this. Oh, well, let's get rid of that garbage. Devil's movement of rate. Go ahead and equip that for now. What else do we have for a thief? Where are those bracers at? It's the same frickin' item, okay. We have invisibility, sure thing. Actually, what is her race? What are you? Oh, she is a human, so she cannot see in the dark. She doesn't have very many arrows. I need to go back to, uh... So let's give these to him so I can put them in my... <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, been, I've been having a conflict with a hair in my throat all morning. 
I thought I got rid of it two or three times today, and it keeps coming back. Yes, at once. Sweetheart? Right. What could I just knock him out? Are they over here fighting? What can it be now? Easy pickings around town these days. Real easy. Right. Alright, there's our supplies. They get mad if I steal? Nope, they don't seem to care. And the heroes of Baldur Skate, after all. Why would they care? What level is she compared to the rest of my party? Level 10. Really? She's a higher level than us. Alright, I'll take it. Help? Whoa! <laughs> like. Whoa. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, I didn't talk to Corwin. You have a fair number of friends, but we should head back to the Ducal Palace. You need to get some rest before we head out in the morning. I'm not done in the city yet. I want to finish up a few things first. As you like, or as you like it. I'll stick with you until you decide to get back to the palace. Let's return this thing to Garrison real quick. Yeah, and I'm not done exploring. Why would I not leave with a full party? I assume that she has to join me. But I'm assuming that everyone that I recruit now will go with us, but not necessarily in my party. So that if I want to swap out, I can. Uh, these refugees and their ceaseless whining. They're getting on my nerves. I have the supplies you needed. Really? I didn't think you'd return. These supplies will help tremendously. I have to admit, I haven't acted as honorably as I could have. Thank you for showing me another way. Now I see why you're called the hero of Baldur's Gate. Bless you. Bless you. There are many here who'll not soon forget this. Here, take this gem. I hit it so Garrichin wouldn't get his greasy paws on it. Uh, don't ask where. I never intended to. Let me swap these around. There we go. Alright. I'm here to help. I do well, I need to get back into the Ducal Palace to grab Safana's stuff, but we'll deal with that later. I don't want to risk going in there and then like starting up an event. Now that quest the Flaming Fist headquarters, I know Rasad is at the Iron Throne. I think that's yeah, that's everything we can explore. So let's go to the Flaming Fist headquarters. Yes. We're almost to Flaming Fist headquarters. There's a cleric being held there. Duke Eltan thinks you might want to speak to. Though why anyone would want to talk to a madman like Tiax is beyond me. What could oh, I yeah. do to help? Tx is the guy that was outside of the uh, Fleming Fist headquarters previously. Uh, we'll just look around real quick and see if there's anyone to talk to outside. Besides Dalston. do what I can to help you. Ah, hello, hello. And how are you on this fine day, night, whatever it is? I said move along, you addled drunkard. Uh, please, officer. The poor fellow is obviously in distress. What's happened to him? My poor man, you mean once Lord Dalston, a uh, late of the Order of Aster, or Aster? Ask him yourself if you really want to know. He delights in the telling of the tale, or telling the tale. You do me a dis- <clears throat> Disservice. I take no joy in my story, but I hope it will, will, will deter those tempted to walk the low road of drink, debauchery, and debauchery. There's few things I like better than a good tale of debauchery and debauchery. Let's hear it. Gods, don't encourage him. Attend my words. 
Heed me that you may stay strong where I was weak. Stay true where I faltered. Stay... stay... Did I mention strong? Hmm. Anyway, as a paladin in the Order of Aster, I... served a great man. Aun Argent was his name. A more worthy servant Lathander has never had. On of the Asters? I've heard of this man. He's a legend in some circles. A noble warrior, mighty and true by every account. I've heard, but you say his name is Argent? Is he in some way related to Kalar Argent? The tales I could tell you of Kalar, my friend. She was a hellacious child, but her uncle, noble Aun, or An, was patient with her. It cost him everything. It cost me everything. I... I... Seriously? It is. As he gets into the meat of the story, and he's like, oh, well, I'm just gonna pass out now. And then Kieran is up here, and Rolf. Such riffraff everywhere. Uh, you there. Yes, you. I'll give you a purse of gold for each one of these flaming fist lugs you run off. Uh, what's going on here? We were just out having a little fun, not really doing anything. Just taking in the sights, you know? We weren't doing anything wrong other than being out after curfew, you know? But then these thugs came along, and you've, and you've got to help us. Please, please, please. You've been here at Baldur's Gate. Please, you've got to help us. Steady on, Rolf. This is a lot. This lot is nothing to be afraid of. They're mercenary scum. Our fathers eat people like this for breakfast. The Flaming Fist protects this city and your fathers, boy. Show some respect. And you mercenaries. You do yourself a disservice harassing children thus. Be on your way. Yeah, yeah, alright. Come on, lads. Let's go find some find us some beggars to punch. Nobody cares what happens to them. Thank you, my lord. We're in your debt. Uh, it was nothing. In future, take care of where you wander and what you wear when doing so. Hard times can drive even the noblest soul to evil. Here, please. Take this gem as a token of our appreciation for your help. What help? Why those louts right where we wanted them? Shut up, Karen. Just shut up. What could sir? I'm here to help. Did he pass out again? Lame. I will do what I can to help you. Yeah, so he you passes out. Well, yeah. Oh, now, all right, he's just an approach when he passed out the first time. I'll help you out for days now. See if he isn't. I leave him to the vultures, but for all his faults, he's a good enough sort. I uh, seem to know Kalar Argent. Has he told you anything of her? She caused his fall, or so he claims. He's never been very clear on how exactly. Something to do with his mentor. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a fallen paladin to lug, lug to a cell. I didn't talk to Kira. Let's do that real quick because I will forget to do that. Talk to Tira, then we'll call it an episode, and we'll do the Fleming Fest headquarters next time. I'm here to help. Hero, did you deliver my deposit to the moneylender yet? I did. She said to tell you that your account has been adjusted. I knew I could count on you. I don't care what the rumors say. You're a good person. Now say as much to anyone who dares claim otherwise. What? What rumors? Yeah, no, I appreciate that, Tira. Thank you. Thank you, Hero. I best be getting home now. Have a wonderful stay in Baldur's Gate. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm not concerned with rumors. I don't care what people think of me. What could I, I just do the best that I can with what I've got. Alright, gonna call it here. Next episode, we'll explore the uh, Fleming Fist headquarters, maybe even get a cleric companion. And then uh, we only have one area left to explore, get Rasad as a companion, and then we will uh, get this adventure underway finally. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.